Hello, good morning. Welcome to another vlog. My name is Sarah. I'm a PhD student at IU. I study English and I am currently getting over a cold, which is why my voice sounds like, like this. If you watched my last vlog, you saw the whole downward progression of the voice becoming what it is. But I'm feeling good for the first time in a while, so I'm gonna do some fun stuff today, run some errands, go to use bookstore, and hopefully get a lot of grading done. I woke up this morning, powered through two articles that I had to read for my seminar, and now I feel like treating myself because I always feel like treating myself. So let me throw my sheets in the wash and then get to having some fun. Here is the fit for today, a little Sunday errands fit. Wearing this oversized denim shirt from Old Navy and then this black sort of like one piece biker suit, biker, I don't even know what to call it, type thing. This was off Amazon. I actually found it off of an influencer I follow who's pregnant and she was like, this is like perfect maternity wear. So I, I am not pregnant. Definitely not in the cards anytime in grad school. Um, but it just seemed really comfy and I was like, yes, I love that. And of course my New Balances, some cute little ruffle socks. That's Pirelli back there. Okay, let's go run these errands for real. Okay, first stop is the Starbucks drive-thru. I told myself I wasn't gonna get Starbucks, but here I am. The weather's just so nice out. I really want just like a nice matcha with raspberry. It just sounds so good. Um, and I might get a little pastry or something too because I realized I've had a cereal today and it's almost two o'clock. I'm gonna do some stuff today and spend some money, but I'm going to try my hardest to make the rest of the week a no spend week or a minimal spend week. Um, so I'm gonna get all the groceries and stuff that I need for the week today so that the rest of the week, what I do won't involve spending money. So hopefully I'll use this vlog to keep me accountable on that. Okay, really sad news. He told me that their Starbucks, like as a corporation, is discontinuing raspberry syrup. I've like just discovered that I love this matcha with raspberry. I want to cry. That's so sad. And then I was like, oh yeah, I'll get the spinach feta egg white wrap. I haven't had that in a while. And he said that the ovens are down. So he told me the pastries that they had and it was like a vanilla scone and like a cookie and like a brownie and stuff. And I'm just like, I don't need any more sugar. So maybe I'll go somewhere else to get something to eat or maybe I'll just go back home or something. Okay, back home now. Show you guys a small little haul. I didn't get anything crazy. I got two books. I was going through all the books that looked eye-catching and like looking them up on Goodreads. There were so many that I like could have bought, but I just stuck with these two. Um, I've heard my sister Joy talk about this one, and I saw that she rated this one five stars on Goodreads, so I felt like they were both good choices. This feels like a sad book. It's about a woman who gets Alzheimer's, and this is like a thriller type book. I really wanted a good romance, but I don't know. They had a whole section on Jodi Picoult, but none of hers seemed like they were doing it for me. So I stuck with just these two. This one was $3, this one was $5. And at Target, this would have been like 15, and this probably would have been like 12. So that's a good deal. And then I popped over to TJ Maxx and Home Goods, and I got these sheets. I wasn't expecting to get sheets. I was just like bebopping through the aisle. But this one said cooling technology for all season comfort. If you know anything about me, you know that my body cannot regulate its temperature. So I quickly did a Google search and the reviews on these seemed really good. They were also only $40 and online people were selling them on eBay for like $100. So I will try these out. They feel really, really soft too. I will obviously wash them now and try them out tonight. And then I got two tops, which I absolutely did not need, but I'll try them on and if I don't love them, I'll return them. Okay, here's this first one. It's just a white button down. It was on clearance, and I'm not really sure why, but I don't know if I'd want it a little more oversized in the arms. I have to see it with a fit. Maybe this would be like a good, like actual, like more like professional button down. Cause I have a loose white button down for like summer, like a linen throw over. But, well, I have two. One is like way more beachy. It's like that like wrinkly sort of fabric. And then the other one I just thrifted from Goodwill and it's like a men's white button down, but it's like way too thick. And mm, I'm just not crazy about like the texture or the fabric of it. So 
We'll see, we'll see. It does feel a little tight in the arms. Maybe that's why it's on clearance. Okay, and here's the second one. It's sort of just like a cropped, it's like barely cropped. It's like a little baby tank, but I really like the color and it was only $10 and the fabric feels like pretty good fabric. It's like knit. Um, so I think I'll be keeping this one as well. I've been looking for like smaller tops because I'm really into like baggy jeans now and I feel like when you wear like baggy tops and baggy bottoms, it's not the vibe. So if you're gonna do like small bottoms, big top, small top, big bottoms, that's what Danielle Carolyn taught me. I don't know if she should be like a fashion role model for me or not, but I will keep both of them, I think. And then of course I got a little candle. You can't go into like a TJ Maxx or Marshalls without getting a candle. It's a really good sort of like spring, fresh scent peony and pear blossom so it smells pretty floral i also stopped at kroger on the way home and got some groceries for the week as i mentioned and it is already 5 27 almost 5 30. i have no idea where the day i mean i do know where the day went i like spent a lot of time at that bookstore it was just fun i just like i don't know it's fun to be alone sometimes i feel like i'm a pretty i'm becoming a lot more comfortable with doing things alone when i was in college it was really hard for me to like go places alone like i couldn't imagine that that was just like really weird and i don't know it just felt awkward i would always feel like everyone's looking at me and then i used to have like really really bad anxiety like ptsd being able to like walk places or like do things alone um and now i'm like starting to like enjoy it some more and I was like joking with my mom over spring break and I was like, I feel like it's gonna be really hard for me to like find like a romantic partner because I just like really like being alone. So it's gonna be so hard for me to find someone who I wanna do something with more than I'd want to do it alone. Like I loved going to that bookstore and just like knowing I can spend as much time in there as I want to spend. And just like, I, I only went to Home Goods and I was like, okay, I'll go home. And I was like, wait, I kind of want to go into TJ Maxx too. And I didn't have to like worry about like if the other person would want to do that or if they wanted to go home. Um, I typically do everything with Megan and she's always down for whatever. So like this doesn't really apply to her, but just like other friends and stuff in general, it's just like really nice to know. I don't know, you just have control and you can do things alone. And I like enjoyed my day just spending it alone. A nice little solo day um so yeah if you don't do things alone this is my encouragement to try it out try going to starbucks treating yourself to a little tj maxx sort of haul um you don't even have to get anything just like walking around a cute little bookstore um it's just a good time it's a fun time just did a little at home gel mani have pirelli here basking in the sunlight i just use a gel lamp and i sit on the floor while i do it because it's easiest and then um, I really like this Beatles brand polish. I have it all linked to my Amazon storefront. Use my little phone tripod to do a little TikTok. And I think I'm gonna clean up a little bit because as I'm down here, I'm noticing this rug really needs to be vacuumed and this wood really needs to be swept. A lot later now, it's 10.30, I powered through, graded six podcasts, one was a zero, so really five podcasts, and went ahead and planned for the week, just put some stickers in my planner, made it really fun, I showed you guys the sticker book that I got in my last vlog, and I did the hard work of like looking at my writing again for the first time in what feels like forever, it's been like two weeks since it was spring break, and I didn't look at it at all last week because I was really sick. Um, and I just spent like 30 to 45 minutes just like jotting down some thoughts. It was like, what have I written already? What am I even doing right now? Um, cause I have a meeting tomorrow morning with my advisor and I'm just like having a really hard time right now with the dissertation, like breaking it into manageable chunks. I'm just like, ah, oh, it's the dissertation when obviously I'm only working on like one section of like one chapter but I don't even know like what I'm supposed to be doing right now. So I just want to meet with him and say like, just tell me what to write. Like, and I, I can write it because I'm just like, am I even doing the right thing right now? Like, I just feel like I 
am lacking a lot of guidance and I don't know if like I actually am but I, I feel like I am in this moment and I also feel like the readings that I do I need to read I don't know more just like like I have a better strategy for reading because obviously I'm reading for the seminar that I have to read for because I'm TAing for a part of the class um but I need to do more work to like making them connect with my own research. Like for example, one of the readings that we did that I did this morning was about like autobi autobiography, memoir, and like disability studies. And I don't work with disability studies necessarily. I mean only that it's like part of embodied writing. Um, but it was really interesting to think like in my own thinking, like is vlogging considered like a form of memoir? Could vlogging be considered like autobiography? Is it autoethnography? Like where does it fit in? Um, and that type of reading with like those things in mind feels productive because I don't think about the point in my research where I just like read to read. Um, like I have my specific projects, so I should make sure things are feeling useful if at all possible. Um, so those are my thoughts on that. I still have to make my bed with those new sheets, which I'm like insanely excited for. I guess that's like what adulthood is. Take a quick little shower and I want to have some early mornings this week. So manifesting that. Happy Monday. I just had my meeting with my advisor and I woke up early-ish this morning and read two articles before the meeting so that was nice. I meet with him every week and we sort of talk about what to expect in the seminar on Tuesdays and we also check in about my writing. So I told him basically what I was talking to you about the vlog last night and he gave me three different options um, for writing and he said we can sort of set an arbitrary deadline for it too um just so I know like hey this writing is going to go to someone it needs to be like intelligible to an audience other than my own brain so that felt useful I'm not sure which option I'm gonna take basically he said I can go back to the basics and like analyze some vlogs even if I don't like end up using that analysis just like getting my brain thinking in that way um so that would be like fun because I get to watch vlogs um, I think I would look specifically at like the vlogs where people are like, here's how I edit my vlogs. He mentioned that I can sort of take like a in defense of vlogging approach where I'm like, here's why vlogging matters specifically to like other compositionists who are like, yes, writing matters, but like how does vlogging count and why should we teach vlogging um, in addition to or even like over like essayistic print based writing. And then what was the third option? Oh, the third option was to take all the themes uh, that I've done so far and just sort of like do like a summary and little like situation, like articulating here's what each of these nine themes are and here's like ways that I could see them possibly connecting. That feels like it would be the most useful, um, but I do not know if I have that in me. So we'll see what I get up to in a couple hours when I go to the writing group at the writing center that I go to every Monday morning. But first I have to get dressed. I am literally wearing my pajamas. I just threw on a sweater <laughs> and, um, you know, like brush my teeth, put on some makeup, eat something before I go. One thing about me is I'm not great at eating leftovers. So I tried to come up with meals that I could easily repurpose. Like tacos last night is becoming nachos today and could easily become a quesadilla tonight or something like that. On campus snacks are another way that I spend unnecessary money. So I bought this trail mix at Kroger and I just am packaging it into little Ziploc bags. And this is a way to save me like, I don't know, three or four dollars not buying a bag of trail mix from the vending machine. Okay, done with the writing group. It is four o'clock and it's a lot colder outside than I thought it would be yesterday. It was like beautiful and sunny and warm and now I'm like back in a puffer. Um, welcome to spring in the Midwest. 
but I decided just to analyze some vlogs. So I analyzed a 45 minute vlog from Danielle Carolyn, um, just because I thought she's like representative of like the typical content creator day in my life. And then I analyzed some shorter vlogs by a content creator with like over 100,000 followers who's a freshman here at IU. Um, I don't know if I'm actually gonna be like using this in my dissertation or not. This is just like to get my brain thinking. Um, so it felt useful for me. And I also saw words on a page, which was good. Um, but in this dissertation writing group, we always start off by saying what our goals for this session are. And then we check back in after like the three hours and we say how we did and what we want to do for the next week. And it's like really, really hard for me to see everyone else just have like these really linear writing processes where they're like oh i want to do the intro to chapter one and then the rest of this week i'll like do the body of chapter one and i'm just like what like that's how writing works for you and i just feel like for me as someone who studies writing like shouldn't i have an easier time with that like shouldn't i know how to make an outline and like execute it and follow through <sighs> I don't know so I talked to my advisor a little bit about that because I was like everything is just like in fragments right now nothing is clicking and he was like that, that's them and he was like you might not have having like 12 mini chapters who knows and he was like don't think about it in terms of chapters right now just think about like what you're doing like day by day week by week he also gave a really helpful metaphor of like writing the dissertation and doing grad school is like swimming in the lap lane um you're gonna get really confused and distracted if you keep looking over about what other people are doing. You just need to like focus on swimming in your own lane and you're only competing against yourself. And so I'm trying to keep that metaphor in mind, but it's hard to not feel defeated when everyone else just feels like they're making like this linear progress with writing. And sometimes I don't feel like I'm making any progress at all. So we'll see. I thought that I might be able to get some grading done when I got home, but oh my gosh, I'm like mentally exhausted. That was a lot of really intense thinking and I read two articles this morning and I had an office hours meeting. So I'm gonna lesson plan and then I'm gonna be done with school for today. Um, I know I have a really messy kitchen to clean when I get home. Gotta cook some din for tonight and to bring to lunch tomorrow. And you know, this is a time when it feels nice to know that like, I feel okay that I don't have to like do anything when I get home. I am so badly wanting a decaf coffee right now. I don't have any decaf pods and I don't need to go to Starbucks. I don't need to go to Dunkin'. Um, I can settle for tea. This is me keeping record of it because I am fighting because I want a decaf coffee really bad right now. So I am getting ready to cook dinner and I unfortunately forgot some ingredients at the grocery store and I realized when I look back at the list or like the recipe but I don't think it's gonna be a huge deal I forgot cabbage which might seem like a huge deal but we're gonna work with it and scallions but I have cilantro I don't think scallions are a huge deal um just like I, ah I thought I got everything Back in my office, it's 11.07 p.m. I finished the bachelor finale with my neighbor and I always bring Pirelli over to her house and it's so sweet. Um, Pirelli loves her and she loves Pirelli. And I have to make two very quick slides for class tomorrow that I'm teaching. I did all the lesson planning um, yesterday, actually, look at me. But I have to go in and just like make some really quick slides. I think class tomorrow is gonna be really easy um and honestly i hope students get out early because i want to make sure that i'm leaving time for students to come up to me to ask me their individual questions um to leave time to like do work on the project in class when i'm there to help with anything they may be running into um and to just give time to students to like go out and start recording their video essay as needed um and if I have extra time between classes, that means I can get some grading done. But yeah, let's make these quick slides so I can get into bed and read Harry Potter 
and not think about The Bachelor. Um, the ending is like what I thought it was going to be all season long. And then like a week or two ago, I thought it was going to change. And I thought Gabby was going to win. And then all episode long, I was like, they're really positioning like Gabby's going to win. And then of course, Katie won. Um, I'm happy for him, but justice for Ariel. And honestly, justice for Gabby. She deserved better than that. And I'm like more sad for Gabby than I am happy for Katie. Um, haven't watched The Bachelor in years, but that's that on that. Good morning, happy Tuesday. I'm having a bit of a shoe dilemma per usual, so I'm just gonna wear this white button down that I got at TJ Maxx, I decided I like it. And these green flowy pants, also from TJ Maxx. And I have these shoes as an option. Also, please ignore my messy room. Pirelli has been sleeping all morning, so I can't make my bed, because I don't wanna disturb the queen. So, shoe option number one, obviously you can't comment in real time. Or shoe option number two just these mules but they have like this cute like woven braided pattern so I feel like they're fun I don't know I'm leaning towards the other ones I think every girly I know has had this dilemma where it's like one shoe on one foot I think the toes are gonna be out to play I think I'm gonna go with these so if you like the mules better uh don't tell me that in the comments because then I'll feel bad Okay, back in my car for my lunch break. I got out early from teaching because students didn't have questions. Um, and I stopped at Inkwell and got a matcha despite my no spend week. Should I ask for raspberry? I didn't think that they'd have raspberry, but I, I did see it on the counter after they gave it to me. Cause it's not that great. It tastes a little like grass. Um, and I'm gonna eat my lunch, just some of that leftover peanut noodle salad that I shared last night. And I have like 20 minutes to kill. I gotta watch a whole show. I haven't eaten lunch in my car in ages. I used to do this all the time, pre-COVID. But it feels good, it feels right. Okay, it is a little after seven o'clock. I am home for my seminar. Pirelli is desperately needing attention. You can tell no one was home all day. I feel so bad for her. Um, today was very tiring, but not as tiring as it normally is because the sun is still out and was out when I came home. And because I was like very intentional about having a slow little romanticized morning as shown in the TikTok. Um, that's Pirelli just going nuts along the bottom of the couch. My neighbor called it zip lining, which is very funny. The seminar was good. We discussed four readings about disability studies from an added collection called Embodied Rhetorics. And we discussed four articles from that. All were pretty interesting, pretty insightful. I don't have like anything crazy to say other than I'm really, really glad that I'm out of coursework and don't have to write final papers anymore. That stressed me out like nothing else. Now I just have to write like a dissertation, no big deal. Um, so yeah, I'm feeling like I should cook some dinner, make something, watch a show, and maybe get in bed early tonight. Um, I have PT tomorrow morning. Um, yeah, I am missing Megan though. I feel a little lonely tonight. Good morning, happy Wednesday. Time to make some coffee and go to physical therapy. back from physical therapy it was a new physical therapist who i haven't had before i didn't think her name was on the schedule but i don't know um oh my gosh she was like aggressive at the end she did like a massage of like my calf and my foot and they typically do that but she like really got 
in there. And she's like, I'm not gonna lie, you're gonna be sore for several days. And I'm like, I already feel it, so I'm nervous. Um, so yeah, but I know that it has to get like worse before it gets better. And I just really miss like going on walks and not having pain in my foot. So I just know it's like something I gotta do. I'm going to go to the post office and mail a Poshmark order. Someone bought this super old fossil watch. Um, I go through like phases of listing stuff on Poshmark. I can put my link for Poshmark on the screen here and in the description box if you're interested in checking things out. Um, I have a pair of a goldy jeans on there that I found at Goodwill and I'm really trying to make a profit off of. So if you're size 27 and you're looking for some a goldy jeans, check them out. Um, and I'm really glad that I saved this bubble wrap from like a package that I got to put the watch in. And I'll go to the post office and I will also mail out a letter to my friend Peyton. It's time for a second breakfast and I'm making French toast, even though I had toast for my first breakfast. I worked for two hours on this stuff. I was like, okay, let's just start by reading and see where that leads me. And I read the intro, an article, and then another article that this book referenced and downloaded two more articles um, to read. This was an interlibrary loan that I got a while ago and I just got an email that it's due back in like two days. So I was like, okay, let's crack that open. So it's an excellent book, so I'm probably just gonna end up buying it or seeing basically what happens if I keep it for longer than I'm supposed to from the interlibrary loan. Like, what are what are they gonna do to me? Are they gonna kick me out? Like, so we'll see. But either way, I will not get through that whole book by the 30th. Um, I definitely feel like I could keep going, but I'm trying to remember that like, this writing is a marathon, not a sprint. So two hours of good, solid work is gonna be good for today um, for the desk, because I also wanna do a lot of grading um, and just like not get burnt out in the middle of the week. Talked to my mom on the phone for, I don't know, 30 minutes, 10 hour, and graded some more podcasts. And that's pretty much what I'm gonna be doing for the rest of the night. So I'm gonna end off the vlog here. Thank you guys so much for watching, especially if you made it to the end. Thank you for watching the whole thing. Um, as always, leave a comment. If you're not subscribed already, you should go ahead and do it. Give it a thumbs up. Follow me on TikTok, Instagram, all my other social media accounts. And again, thank you. You guys are the best. Bye.